Welcome and thank you for joining me for this video. I will be uh, showing you how I turned an old table saw into a router table. Um, the, I've had this, I got this second hand oh, probably about a decade ago. Who knows how long the person had it before me. And um, went to, was working on a custom order and I went to turn it on and turn on the, the power and nothing happened. Um, instead of throwing the table saw away, throwing the whole thing away, giving it away, putting it in the recycle, um, kind of occurred to me that I could probably turn it into a router table. So that's what I did and I will be showing you how I did that. <laughs> if you've seen my previous videos, um, you'll, you've saw me, most likely saw me working on this as my router table. This is just an old countertop um, that I was using drilled a hole in it. You have been using this as my router table for oh probably as long as I've had that table saw and um, you know it's worked probably not the best option but it's worked for me and now I decided to upgrade so yeah. Um, so first thing first since this is a cast iron uh, top and this thing's surprisingly heavy for the size of it. It's not very big, but um, yeah, I wanted to remove as much of the extra weight. So these uh, little, the sides come off and this is just two pieces. So just remove the bolts, pulled those off. And unfortunately to access the mounting screws for the top here, for the cast iron top, I had to completely turn the whole thing over and access the, the bolts from underneath. So yeah, flipped it over. I didn't get any videos of that because I was not planning on doing all of this at that, uh, at that time. So yeah. So this is a, was a direct drive motor for the table saw. So I had to remove the motor and the adjustment bars that kind of took a lot longer than I was hoping because I think some of the parts were just kind of um, maybe rusted together or something. Things weren't coming apart the way that I wanted, uh, but I ended up having to take the hacksaw to some of those and just, I basically gutted the, the table saw. So all that was left is the frame and the top or the base and the top. So the next thing when I decided that I was going to start um, making the router table, my original plan was to uh, mount the table saw or the router table base onto the plate here. I was going to make, so I used a half inch plywood and I was going to mount it underneath, but uh, that didn't work. So um, I went to a, another option. I'll get into that here in a little bit, but first thing I did was just take that half inch plywood and just traced around the old uh, insert. I took that, I cut it out with the bandsaw and then took, uh, after I got the rough cut out with the bandsaw, I just used the disc sander, clean up the edges and made sure that it was a nice fit for the, the insert here. So yeah, after I got my uh, rough cut out and got that sanded down to be the same, uh, same size to be able to fit in this hole, I measured the little lip around the outside and it was uh, three millimeters deep and five millimeters wide. I could have skipped this part, but you know, since my original plan was to mount the uh, base up to this piece here uh, to the you know the plate up top, I left the whole half inch thickness of the plate. Uh, if I had to do it again, I could just make a three millimeter deep plate, but it kind of ends up ended up being nice because it fits a little bit more snug now in there. So I took that to the router table and basically I just you know measured my my depth and my thickness and everything and ran it across the, the router. Um, I used a quarter inch, quarter inch rabbit 
and ran it all, all the way across and just made that uh, little ledge on there and put that at three millimeters uh, deep. After that, I had, because of this table saw has these little triangle cutouts for mounting the base plate or mounting the plate onto the table saw. I had to kind of work around those and figured that the best way to do that would be just basically take that and um, take the router and just remove that material with the router on the router table. So I, met, I marked those, took my pencil, you know, I just mounted it under, measured it underneath, marked it, and uh, took it to the router table, set up my stop blocks, and just took some several light passes each at a time until I got to the, you know, the right uh, size for my, those little cutouts or the little triangles there. And the whole uh, plate here mounted into the tabletop. So after I got this uh, put in is when I kind of realized that uh, using the plate as the mount wouldn't be the best uh, option because, well, a couple things, I think it would, over time, pulling on it, it would probably, uh, you know, warp it. But my plan was to add some stability, add some support underneath. But the with the little ledge that I cut out, the router plate, I used the, uh, the router plate, uh, or the router base plate as my template, and the holes were a little too wide, and I didn't feel comfortable with that. So what I did was I just, I took another piece of half inch plywood that um, I was gonna be able to, measured it to fit, to be able to uh, get into the brackets that were already there for the mounting hardware. And I took that piece of plywood and set up my base plate for my router and just measured my holes, marked my uh, mounting holes through that and I also, Put in the hole for my little adjustment piece here so now I can you know move this up and down without having to climb underneath like I did before and what I how I mounted this originally just to keep it in place was I marked my screw holes here for the mounting plate and I screwed it in here um, got everything kind of ready to go and I wanted more um, I wanted more security, more, more stability underneath. So I just took some more half inch plywood because I was just using a bunch of old scraps of half inch plywood that I had. And I took the mounting hardware for the old motor as my template. And I marked my holes uh, for the mounting with, so I could use the old uh, bolts for mounting the the plywood to the bottom of the table saw. And I just mounted it with the old bolts in e either side. Mounted it from underneath. I put the router on and just a, put in a, a small uh, router bit and I basically just raised up the router to mark my center hole and then cut a two inch hole in this, uh, I'm going to call this my mounting plate. So I put my, I put a two inch hole in here. Then I just, I did a, put in a one and uh, nine sixteenths hole in this, the plate here. I'll probably, I can make more of these with different sizes and everything. Um, this just will fit the you guys can't even see that. This one will just fit uh, most of my router bits. Actually, I think this one will fit all of, all of my router bits that I currently have. And on this, I just put in, I put a few coats of uh, finish on here, just an oil-based finish, just to give it a nice, you know, coat, nice smooth finish on there. So the front here just had, this was where my up and down adjustment knob was. And I cut this out with a jigsaw, I put a metal blade on a jigsaw 
and then I used a grinder. I originally cut just a small hole, if you can see the original mark here, and I couldn't get into it that well, and so just made my hole a little bit bigger, and took the grinder and a file, and kind of filed this down just to make it nice and smooth, so if I'm reaching in and uh, reaching in, pulling my hand out, I'm not gonna scratch myself or anything, because right now I still have to reach in to uh, turn it on and off. Also, of course, have to reach in to change out my router bits and everything. I will probably put a switch on the front. Just have not done that yet. So I can have, you know, have the router plugged in and just switch on and off from there. But um, yeah, just open that up. As you can see, I'm not worried about running my, running my arm or my hand across there. So the next thing I did was I just, um, I got these casters off of Amazon. They're, they were pretty inexpensive and they hold up to a total of over 600 pounds between the four of them. Plenty for this table saw and they work pretty well. Um, I'm, I'd say I'm pretty happy with them. So I'll probably put a link to those in the description and if I can remember to do that. So my workshop is not very big. So I wanted to um, make sure that I've got uh, movable equipment. My new table saw has casters on it and I want to be able to have my stuff stored off to the side so I wanted to put some casters on there. Uh, I didn't have them on before because my table saw pretty much sat, stayed in the same place but now I'm going to have to move it around. Like I said, I'm, I'm happy with these casters. And I have this, my old fence from the old router table uh, I'm going to use this for a little bit for now, um, probably upgrade it here, you know, do some other stuff when I get feather boards and everything. This is just some old MDF that I used, I think it's, yeah, half inch MDF. And basically what I use it for is just dust collection. If you've seen the videos before, I just kind of have it set up here and I'll, you know, like I said, use it, hook up my dust collection here. Um, I did get some clamps to hold the, this down so I can use it as my fence. I'm not really happy with these clamps, um, honestly. They're pretty small and they, the plastic hold just, just at the right size where holding in that track just doesn't work that great. I'm gonna use them because I can, I can make them work. Um, but I'll probably get something else here uh, before too long. But, like I said, they work for now. They'll hold it in place. I'll probably get a you know, new track with some mounting for feather boards and everything. And then the last thing I did, believe it or not, you probably can't tell if, you know, there's lots of marks and everything like that. But I did clean it up. I took some, um, some rubbing alcohol, cleaned the whole thing, and then I took uh, some uh, car wax and wax the whole top. I learned that from the Wood Whisperer. Wax the top and it's actually very, very slick, very smooth right now. Um, so these will, you know, just slide, slide very easily. And uh, so my wood boards will slide very easily across here. So yeah, that's what I did. Um, just, you know, I don't like throwing things away. So if I can reuse things, uh, upcycle them, whatever, I'm gonna do that. I've done that with a lot of things and I'm ready to put this into, into, put this into work, put this to work, into work. Um, ready to put this to work. So yeah, so you can follow the channel and keep up to date on the project, see how this works in when I'm actually using it and hopefully I will get that table saw put together here very soon, I'm hoping, so I can continue working on my projects. And hopefully I'll, I might do a, a review of that, maybe I'll do a video review of that, or I'll just kind of let you all know what I think of it in my projects, we'll see. But yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.